Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I've made a Yagi GMRS antenna. I thought I'd share that with you. And I thought I'd share a couple of tips that make it work even better. Here's my antenna. I made it out of this ratty old TV antenna. Something that I found up at Dogwood Trace. You see how gnarly and messed up it is? Well, I took three pieces off of it and I straightened them out and I went online and I found a three element Yagi calculator for GMRS and I cut each of those the correct length. The, the front one there is the director and the two in the middle there are the driven elements and the back one is a reflector and the reflector is just a little bit longer than the driven elements in total the driven elements in total and the directors just a little bit shorter than the driven elements and so it all works together and you can see that I made it out of PVC pipe craft sticks some RG8X coax a couple of bolts and nuts eyelets that I soldered onto the end of the cable there, the coax cable, and just drilled holes in the end of those driven elements and screwed them into the, to it and did a lot of hot gluing. Now what's interesting, and by the way, use PVC pipe, which all of you can get at any home store, and you could have used wire instead of these aluminum elements from an old TV antenna, but I used what I had, and you notice how straight those are it took a lot of straightening but they need to be exactly like that on the plane so that they're straight and you can see that they're just the one in the middle is a little bit shorter than the one on the end here next to my hand and the one out on the other end is a little bit shorter and that's the way it works to direct it but the interesting thing that I wanted to share with you is how I have this coax cable and this connector configured and you may say, why in the world did you put it there? I originally wanted to, let me see if I can use my hand. I wanted to just bring it right down here and zip tie it and hot glue it right under here. But whenever I checked the SWR, I was getting like nine, 12, didn't, it, I mean, it was terrible. And I checked my links on my elements over and over and I checked my distance between each of the elements and I'll share uh, down below in the description exactly how long each of these elements are and how far apart each one needs to be. I took my coax and I moved it around and I moved it here and there connected to my SWR meter and my radio and it's odd but whenever I got it right there <laughs> I basically directly between those two elements right there and out at a 90 degree angle from the center pole there it came down to like 1.01 .01 from let's just say right at 10. It's amazing how that worked and so what did I do? I went and got another craft stick got my hot glue gun back out and I hot glued it right there and now at 467 which is the frequency I tuned it to, I have a 1.01 .01 SWR. It's amazing. Now, to the northwest of me, in that direction, I have a GMRS repeater. And I can't pick up that GMRS repeater with this Yagi, even though it has a great um, SWR. I can pick it up, it comes in and out, let me show you something, some idea that I had a while back, and I wondered. And so I asked my friends in the neighborhood, my neighbors, if they had any dishes that they wanted to get rid of, uh, satellite dishes they no longer were using, and I picked up four or five, and I had this idea. And in fact, that idea has worked out. Let me show you.
You see how I have that propped up like that? Oddly enough, now, let me, let me get it exactly straight. There we go. Now I can hook my radio up. And the reflection from this parabolic dish will come back to this antenna and it will literally allow me to pick up that repeater. Let me go get my radio and show you. Right, let me hook this, let me adjust this and do this this way. Try it out here. 1.06 SWR. Repeater check, WROZ 454. See what happens when you put this dish here. Now when I take it away from the dish and I try it this way all by myself, WROZ 454 repeater check. Nothing. So using a Yagi antenna with a parabolic dish literally does improve the reception and the transmission. And so Wanted to share that with you, let you see the success of what I've done with this little antenna, with a few, you know, cast away pieces of things, a glue gun, some craft sticks. I did use RG8X coax there, and that last SWR was like 1.35. Uh, so I'm getting between a 1.01 to a 1.3 on all of this. If you have any questions, Please leave them in the comments below, any comments, any suggestions. I still don't understand why this worked, but it does. And so I'm grateful. Thanks again for coming along to our channel. God bless you and have a great day.